Hello everyone. After the introduction, this is the first video of the second part and I think the most important one because if you don't understand the problem very well, if you don't comprehend the requirements of the project, following steps, the methodology will be missing or wrong or maybe unnecessarily long. Let's start with our example, phishing detection. First of all, we need to understand the problem and we should learn what phishing attack is. Then we can produce a solution for that. Of course, there are more than one way to do it and we need to see the big picture. And I will show a practical and scientific way. Review the literature. Most probably you are not the first person who studies your problem. You are not Christoph Colomb. Check what other people, other researchers did for your problem. You can use different electronic libraries. I will use Google Scholar because you don't have to register, pay or have an university account. Okay, let's do it together for our problem, phishing detection. And let's write the keywords. As you see, so many results were listed and nearly 44,600 results are listed. And this is too much to read. And some of them can be very specific. Uh, like this one, new rule based phishing detection or very old. Uh, actually, 2013 is normally not old, but for phishing, uh, sorry, for machine learning detection problem field, uh, it can be old. And before getting deeper, we need to see the problem in high level. Usually, best way is first searching survey or systematic review papers about the problem. So, let's write survey. As you see, the phishing detection and literature survey, yes, this can be a good start point. Or this one, a survey and classification of web phishing detection schemas. For example, this one is not a good start point because they focus on visual similarity based approaches. But this can be a good start point because it seems general. You can also check the citation number, as you see. This is not only a parameter which displays the quality of the paper, but if 153 researchers or other papers cited this study, then we can think that there can be some valuable contribution in this study for us also. Also, you can filter the date from here, custom range, and let's write 2016. Now we see only the recent ones. Especially if you are studying machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, you should check recent studies because they are evolving in every day. Okay, now we found more related and general uh, recent and helpful papers. Of course, first step is reading these uh, general ones. By this way, you can see the big picture. What is the problem? What are the available solutions for that problem? Of course, I will not read each of them in the video, but I will summarize them for you with very brief explanations. Okay, let's assume that with your first readings, you understand the general problem and previous solutions. Now we want to learn if there is a machine learning based solutions. If yes, what are the challenges? What are the advantages? So we will search same problem with machine learning keywords. Phishing detection, yeah, survey machine learning. By the way, after reading a few papers, you can also notice other important keywords like anti-phishing. Again, for the beginning, general papers will be more helpful. Okay, let's remind the tips. First one, use electronic libraries or Google Scholar. And as a beginning, check general ones, surveys, systematic review papers, filter the recent ones and general ones, and select four or five articles and read them. And this is very important. Try to summarize what you understood and record it because you will need and in the experimental part and try to explain the problem to your friend what you understood. Firstly, let's look at what is phishing. Phishing attack is a type of cyber threat and social engineering attack that is used to steal confidential data such as credentials, credit card information, sensitive personal data or money and it targets human vulnerabilities. This is a quite important keyword. And this is a typical and usual flow of phishing attack. It starts with an innocent appearing message. Message can be sent by various communication channels like email, SMS, social media applications. And if user doesn't notice the attack, 
and click the link. Link usually redirect the user to the phishing website. Then user enter is or her credentials and submit personal data. Then the inevitable end attackers capture the confidential data and use it to steal money or gaining more credential and private data. What are the problems and solutions in phishing detection? Problems, phishing is quite common, costs a lot of money, affects all internet users, and it targets directly end users. Attackers don't need high technical knowledge or tool, and it's quite easy to perform. And the last one, the most characteristic one is phishing attacks use social engineering techniques. They exploit human vulnerabilities. So what is the characteristic side of social engineering techniques? Uh, they use psychological manipulation tactics. They trigger the emotions like fear to deceive or to convince the human. What are the solutions? You can categorize solution proposals into two major sections. First one is educating and increasing the awareness of user. And the second one is developing software systems which can detect and prevent or warn users. We will focus on the second one, software. There are different approaches to develop software as an anti-phishing solution and we can group them under these titles. I will not give you too much details and not to extend the video, but basically these approaches can be successful, but especially they are not effective against new attacks. You can find so many machine learning based research displayed good success in terms of performance measures like the accuracy. We also study machine learning in our project. Now try to ask these questions to check yourself. What are the differences between machine learning and other approaches? What are the advantages and disadvantages of machine learning? Why is machine learning better for phishing detection? How are the performance measures? What are the challenges and limitations in machine learning based studies? Answering these questions is also important to check your understanding. Another important tactic is check available data sets and feature sets. You can find them in the references section of the papers. At this point, thanks to our reading, we saw that attackers can use SMS, email, social media to start phishing, and communication channels are various. But at the end, usually they redirect users to a website, phishing website. We can select specific communication channel like email, then we can develop spam filter or anti-phishing filter application, or a particular social media application like Twitter, then you can develop phishing detector in Twitter application. These decisions will affect our datasets, our features, models, etc. I want to choose and focus on phishing websites because I think we can provide more inclusive and general solution with this way. And also websites are the last step of the most attacks. Of course, after this decision, we should check, we should search more specific studies like phishing websites detection, phishing websites, machine learning, etc. If you do that, you will see there are so many studies for that and we can group them under these titles. URL based ones, content based, visual similarity or hybrid. Of course, there are some other specific approaches or there are different categorizations, but I will try to simplify the problem. I decided to focus on the content of attacks, uh, content of websites, not visuals. I want to show uh, some helpful models like beautiful soap, to parse HTML files and use them, process them. Therefore, I decided to study on content-based phishing detection, specifically HTML-based features of phishing attacks. Probably most of you know what HTML is, but I want to show an example. Now we have other questions to check our understanding. First one, what are the available content-based features? What can be new content-based features? Are there any open source examples for the content-based feature extraction? If yes, check them. What are the performance scores for the content-based studies? Because you can see that URL-based studies are more successful. Therefore, firstly, you should compare your studies with content-based studies, not the other ones. As you see, we also find the name of our study, content-based phishing or phishing website detection with machine learning, or you can say, HTML-based phishing features used in machine learning. Also, after deciding the focus point, you should check and review 
similar papers. You should search with these keywords, content-based phishing detection. Okay, now we know the problem, we decided the approach, and last step is searching code examples, open source studies. My first advice, check GitHub, phishing detection source code in Python. Yes, check GitHub links, for example, this can be a good option. Collab also can be another option. Let's look at GitHub. As you see, there are 36 public repositories matching this topic. Probably there are more, but the name can be different. At the beginning, try to find the simple ones and check their files. For example, you can see there are different files, uh, extract HTML. Let's look at this. Yes, there are some functions to extract the HTML. You can cheat, you can copy, you can exploit these open source examples to understand and to use your, in your problem. And you can also check data sets, test data set, training data set. This is also a very beneficial one, Google Collab. You can just run the code on your browser like that. But I will not do it. Another one is Kaggle. And you can check the data sets here, for, for example, and like phishing site URLs, website phishing data set. You can use these data sets. We understood the problem, we decided the approach, and now we should design the flow.